Hi Stage 3, welcome to Drama for Weeks 9 and Weeks 10. Our learn learning intention for the next two weeks is that we are learning to devise, act and rehearse drama for performances and respond critically to a range of drama works and performance styles. We'll be successful when we can form and communicate an opinion about a range of drama that's being created by others. When we can identify key features of props, so puppets that are used to create drama, when we can plan for and make drama props for drama performances, and when we can organise the props to help convey the meaning of drama. So today we'll really be using our puppets that we made last week um, to obtain a message and to convey a message and to make that meaning for the drama as well. So that will be for the next two weeks, so today's lesson and then next week's lesson as well. Thank you so, so much to all of those children who have done um, their puppets, they've made their puppets, and then they've also uploaded a photo of their puppets. These are some of the work, some of the puppets that um, the Year 5 children have done. And then on the next slide you can see some of the puppets that some of the Year 6 children have done. If you haven't uploaded your photo yet, please do that so we can all have a, a look at all the fantastic work that you've been doing at home. It's really great to see how much effort some of you have really gone to with your puppets and it's really fantastic to actually share, I suppose, the, the great work that you're doing with your peers as well. So if you add, if there's any more people who have done puppets, upload a photo and, and I'll add them into a slideshow that we can share with everybody. So this week and next week, we are creating our puppets profile. Using the profile that we've created and the interview questions, we're then going to interview our puppet. We will then create some different interview questions that will be used to interview people in our home. So we've got two jobs here to do. The first job is creating our puppets profile using interview questions that have already been set for you. Then you have to create some of your own interview questions and interview people who are living in your home. You need to make sure that you're filming the interviews. So you need to make sure that you film the puppets interview and you also need to make sure that you film the interviews that your puppet conducts with the people living in your home. Then we're going to put together a short film or documentary of all of the interviews. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create your puppet's profile. That is step one. So in creating your puppet's profile, you need to answer these questions about your puppet. So you can type on this right hand side here, you need to come up with a name, a date of birth and the star sign. So you might need to research what their star sign is. Then you need to create family details, so family members and ages for the puppet. Hobbies, pets, favourite food, where they were born, where do they go to school, what do you want to be when you grow up, so what does your puppet want to be when they grow up, their favourite holiday destination, and then on the next slide you need to answer these questions as well. So what's their favourite food, their most hated food, the last book that they read, what do they want for their birthday, their favourite subject at school, and then you need to come up with five of your own questions that you can ask your puppet to complete their, their profile. So once you've, cre you've filled those two slides out and you've created their profile, you actually need to interview your question. No, sorry, interview your puppet. So you've created your puppet's profile by answering the questions on slide seven and eight. Then you need to practice interviewing your puppet because that will be quite challenging because you actually have to ask the questions but then your puppet has to answer them. So you might need to think about what sort of voice your puppet's going to have so that we can see that your puppet is a different person or a different um, different to what you sound like. So you need to practice that and then you need to film that interview of your puppet while your puppet is answering the questions. Then we move on to step three. This is when we're going to start to plan the questions that will make up the rest of our documentary. So you need to come up with four or five questions about staying home during lockdown that your puppet will then ask. So your puppet's going to be interviewing people and your puppet's going to interview the people living in your home. So some examples might be, what are you doing to entertain yourself? How many puzzles have you completed? What is a new school, a skill that you have learnt during lockdown? 
You can come up with so many different types of questions, but try to be creative. So think about what are some of the things that you've done in lockdown that, that your puppet could ask people about and try and make it funny and entertaining for people. You can type your four to five questions here. And then once you've typed them and you've planned them and you've come up with them, you need to use those questions and interview the people or animals, so pets, that live in your home and record, so film their responses. I would be filming the responses, probably using a phone or an iPad. Then you can even have your puppet interview you and your puppet needs to react to the answers. So it needs to seem like a bit of a conversation and you're going to have to improvise here because you might get some interesting responses from maybe your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister, but your puppet has to react to their response. You can even Zoom or FaceTime to interview other people. So if you're thinking, oh, I only live with my mum or I only live with my dad or I only live with my dad and my brother, then you can actually think about interviewing some of your friends maybe. So you could FaceTime them and film that FaceTime or Zoom them and film that Zoom. So be creative about how you interview people because you want to have as many people as you can. I wouldn't do any more than five people probably because otherwise your documentary is going to be way too long. But you want to make it as entertaining for you and you want to make it as entertaining for your audience as well. You must remember to film the interviews as your puppet interviews the people or the animals. So remember to film them because we're going to use them for the next part. Step five then is the documentary. So using all of your film footage, that includes the, um, the footage that you had of you interviewing your puppet, as well as your puppet interviewing different people about being in lockdown, you need to create a documentary of your interviews. So you should have a lot of footage. I would be using the same software or program that you used when you made your silent movie. I know a lot of you used iMovie and I know that some of you use Shotcut. So you need to make sure that you're using that software again because you've already learned about it, you already know how to use it, use that software again. You wanna try and put your interviews into an order that would make sense. So you may wanna do it in chronological order, so in the order in which you filmed them. So I'd be starting, with the interview about your puppet's profile, so when, you're, when you are interviewing your puppet, and then you'd probably have the interview of um, when you're interviewing the different people in your home. You might even like to use um, flashcards as a way to ask the question. So you might have the question flash up on the screen and then you might have your puppet ask it and you might have the person answer it or you might skip the puppet asking it. Then you might just have your puppet, your sock puppet, reacting to the person's response. That might be another way that you can show your skills. You can add music to your, um, to your documentary if you'd like to. You could add um, credits at the end. So you could have credits rolling at the end. Think about how can you be as creative as you can and how can you make your documentary as realistic as you can using those software programs. And I know that iMovie is so user friendly and it has so many different templates that you can use to make your documentary really interesting and really entertaining for your audience. Step six is to then upload your documentary. So once you've made it, you've put it together, you've watched it, you're really, really happy with how it's looking. You then need to upload it into the shared folder that's called Puppet Documentaries Term 3. So you'll need to click on your grades link below to access the correct folder. If you click here, year five, you'll get taken to your folder where you need to um, upload your puppet documentary and year six, you'll get taken there as well. It's in that shared folder that we used when we uploaded our silent movies. But if you get stuck, ask on Google Classroom on this post and I'll help you to upload it. That's it. And that should say, see you next term because, um, yeah, we won't, we won't be having another chat until then. So in terms of working through this today, this is a big chunk of work. So I would start and I'd probably set a timer for an hour because you should only be spending an hour on drama. So, so set a timer today for Tuesday, Tuesday the 7th. Set a timer for an hour and work for one hour. Once that hour is up, I would stop what I'm doing and then I would pick up from where I left off last week in week 10. That way you are making sure that you're spending the right amount of time and not too much time. 
So you don't need to have your video uploaded in that folder until Tuesday of week, week 10. So the 14th of September, this will, will, or you might even need to make it due a bit later than that. But yeah, making sure that you, you aren't doing it all on one day. You should spread this over two days or two drama lessons. Okay, have fun and good luck, everybody.